Good evening, Sensi friends. It's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant, coming to you from my Sensi office, which is continuously changing. We're working on things down here. Um, I don't think it's gonna change like drastically, but just like getting things a little, a little organized, you know. And in that vein, I have been going through some stuff and I wanna go through my what I've been warming. And I'm gonna start with my non-wax. So I have an all-purpose cleaner in Johnny Appleseed, which is like Mac Apple peels, Mac Apple, I think there's, is there some pear in this? I think there's some like pear. I'm not sure. I love the all-purpose cleaning concentrate. I use it a lot. I use it on my floors. I use it on my counters. Um, a lot of times on the weekend, I like put the stopper in the kitchen sink and I fill it up with this and hot water and I just like wipe the whole house down with it. Um, I love it. I love the all-purpose clean concentrate. Like, if I'm just doing like, it's a weeknight, I've worked eight hours and I'm just wiping down the counter after dinner, I just use a spritz of counter clean. But, and it's, when I say a spritz, I mean, I'm like, like that, you know, a light, a light spritz, you know, but on the weekend when I'm getting a little, a little more detailed and, and also being crazy, um, I use the all-purpose cleaner concentrate. I did put two uh, buddy clips and uh, this special heart charm clip in our cars. So my wife's car, um, she got rainbow red. So the rainbow is from last year's summer collection. It was recently in the flash sale. I didn't get any of the flash sale because I had some um, that I paid, you know, probably half price for. But, you know, whatevs. Anyway, rainbow red. And then the heart clip is in simply the zest. It has a little charm. I love it. I think it is so cute. Um, is that it for no wax? Oh, we have an oil. We have an oil. It's one of those little tiny ones that came for free with my new diffuser. December's the month to get diffusers, friends. And this is blackberry basil. Super cute. I like the little oils because you can actually get through them pretty quickly. But, anyway. Okay. The rest of this is wax. I've been getting through a lot of wax lately. I'm not sure why that is, but it is. Alright. Let's see. I feel like I got through two of those. So, I do not sort this ahead of time to make my life easier. So there is that. And I wish that I would, but I don't. Um, I'm currently in my basement. I mixed two bars that are no longer available. They were both in Bring Back My Bars. This one, I'm not sure when it was in Bring Back My Bar, but it was a while ago, possibly like, like 2019, 2020. Um, it is Black Current Bubbly. And I'm warming it in my basement, and it's mixed with Pink Haze, which was back in 22 in January. So, Black Current Bubbly is Champagne Bubbles Stir Black Current Sweet Orange and Vanilla Sugar. So, Champagne Bubbles Black Current Orange Vanilla. Um, I thought it would blend really prettily with Pink Haze. Pink Haze stains the clam. She messy. Um, berries, nectarines, whipped cream, and marshmallow fondant. So they're sweet, a little fruity. This one's like a little bit body care esque, um, but it's good, and it's such a great mixer. Um, I don't think it's in my club anymore. I switched out for Starburst Sky. I kind of got like tired of it. You know, you know how that is sometimes. Um, Sorry, I'm just like, just literally just going through disaster. You guys, I'm such a disaster. Of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't drop things on the floor. Okay. So currently upstairs, I'll just, I'll just start there. I'll just start with what's happening right this minute. So currently upstairs in my family room, I have Amaretto, which is a bring back my bar currently. If you want Amaretto, you got to get it now before the 31st, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow, midnight Pacific time, 
it's done. So this one is an almond scent and fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. Amaretto. She's warming now in my family room. So my family room and my kitchen are one big room. And so in the room right next to it in my kitchen is rum raisin cookie. I thought that these would be beautiful together. This was also a bring back my bar last January. And the scent notes on this one, freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. So I've got almond, honey, and spices with a rum raisin cookie together. It makes a beautiful marriage of deliciousness. In my front entrance way, as you walk in the front door is Frosted Cedar, which is a new release this fall winter. I actually really like this scent and I like it because it's got the apple and the cedar and the vanilla. It all kind of blends together really beautifully. Um, it's a red delicious apple, towering white cedar, and a blanket of creamy vanilla. This one is really good. And then in my entrance way, I have or no, this is in my bedroom. I have white sands, white sands. Night blooming jasmine softened by, softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. It is light for me. I had it in my club because I feel like this is very like company friendly, but it's not enough for me. So I think that this one, I think I did remove it from my club. If not, I'm going to because it's just not enough of a smell. Like I just need a little bit more. Um, I did recently in my bedroom warm Tahitian Twilight, which is the scent of the month from July. A gentle wave of coastal waters brings together flirty passion flower, pineapple, and white woods for an evening in paradise. This one also, it smells fairly strong in the clam, but it's not. It's not strong. Um, it needs a little, a little more oomph to me. I like it. I'm cold. I like that container. Like smelling it now, I'm like, that is delightful. And I want that in my life, but I just can't smell it when it's warming. On the other hand, I can smell this. This is breakfast in bed. I warmed it in my kitchen. Warm pumpkin pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle. I can't remember if I removed this from my club or not. I hope not. I don't know. Who knows with me? I get in this mood where I'm like, I don't ever warm this anymore. And then I get rid of things and then I'm like wait a minute I want to warm that again and then I can't because I can't find it because I took it out of my club and then I melt it all and then I'm sad so you know what are you gonna do I think that this was what I warmed on an alternate day when I was warming greens and blues um I think that this is a house worth of wax let me see so frosty air was in the bedroom citrus lily of the valley and frosty air this is also a new release in the um, fall winter catalog it is strong in the clam it is strong in the room it is long lasting it goes and goes and goes um it's a good one it's very clean very fresh very sharp kind of melts your nose hairs um in the kitchen marshmallow hot cocoa which is not sharp which is soft and wonderful um, cozy up with a mug of hot chocolate as airy marshmallow and peppermint float above a rich layer of creamy cocoa, marshmallow mint cocoa. I would give anything for this to come back so I could put it in my club. I know it's seasonal. I would put it in my quarterly club. Um, I'm only going to warm it in the winter. I'm not going to warm marshmallow mint cocoa in the, in the summer. In the entrance, I warmed mint, a uh, meat at the mistletoe, which is the December 23. Was it December or November? November is the merry cookie the minty mary whatever cookie this is december 23 cent of the month mistletoe mary cherry refreshing forest sorry guys um mistletoe cherry refreshing forest i wish this was a little stronger too to be honest um i like it i like that there's cherry in there i feel like the cherry extends the season on this it is the end of january I don't want to necessarily be melting Christmas tree scents. Mistletoe sounds really Christmassy, but the cherry kind of like extends the life cycle of meat at the mistletoe. Cherry's Jubilee. Speaking of cherry, I warm this in my girls' rooms. It's currently warming in my girls' rooms. This is from the Holiday 2023 collection. No. This is from the Holiday 2024 collection. I don't know why I would... I guess because it came out in 23. That's why. Selling me. Okay, this is Holiday 23. <laughs> Gosh, I think it wasn't just last month. Um, black cherry, raspberry, and zesty lemon. I really, really like this. I also warmed wild black cherry. Um, I guess that's not like a cherry kick in the basement. So this, this one is so strong. 
And so I mixed it. I mixed it with a vanilla cream. Okay, so wild black cherry. A sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old flash, old fashioned black cherry soda. So strong. So like cough syrup ish. But it's strong. And then vanilla cream, which I was hoping would like calm it down. French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. Man, this blasted up the stairs, around the corner, everywhere. It was like, it filled the whole house from the basement up. Just. Oh, on my minty day, I also warmed Mint to be Merry in the family room. To, this is the November scent of the month. And I wanted it to blend with the marshmallow mint cocoa and create like a minty deliciousness between the family room and the kitchen. So this one is crushed candy cane, sparkling sugar, and creamy butter cookie. It worked. It worked beautifully with marshmallow mint cocoa. 10 out of 10 recommend that blend. If you like minty bakery deliciousness, that's what you want. You want marshmallow mint cocoa with mint to be merry. No. Yes, mint to be merry in like adjoining rooms so they can blend together. Okay. So a little bit earlier than that, I did frosted white pine in my entrance. This is a 2023 scent of the season. Um, pine needles, crisp greens, and winter air. Frosted white pine. I also did St. Nickerdoodle, which was in the 2022 scent of the season. In the kitchen, baked apples, spices, dusting of powdered sugar. To me, this one is not Christmas specific. It is a cookie with kind of apple pie filling in it and a little bit of like sweet powdered sugar. And I feel like you get the powdered sugar. Like I feel like you smell all of that in that bar. It's delicious. I made samples of Shamrock Splash. I did not warm a bar of Shamrock Splash yet, but I will. I've got a really gross, gross bar here of sweet plum pastry. I mean, she got real yuck. And I mixed this because I only had the one bar. And so I mixed it with vanilla cream. This is such a great mixer, you guys. So the sweet plum pastry is, um, was a bring back my bar from December of 2020. Black plum toasted coconut marshmallow cloud. I marsh, I marshed it. I mixed it with vanilla cream, which is um, French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. They're beautiful together. Um, I do think that the vanilla cream helped kind of round out that sweet plum pastry, kind of took away that burnt plum note. I also warmed through a sample or a tester of Welcome Home, trying to get through those um, a little bit at a time. I have so many testers, I will never, ever get all the way through them. Um, I love that Patricia D Gates does Tester Tuesday. It feels so wasteful to have so much wax just kind of sit um, I haven't developed a good schema for this yet. I wish that I was better with this stuff, but alas. So, um, I'm trying to throw in a tester every now and then. I have a mini warmer in my laundry room that I is lends itself really well to that. But it's just, it's a lot. I'm busy. Um... Mandarin Moon, Family Room. It's a 2022 Bring Back My Bar. Spirited Cinnamon, Glowing Ginger, Star Anise, and Sweet Orange. I remember this being a bar that was available when my first batch of children were little. And this song brings, or this scent brings back those memories. And so I love this. I use it a lot. It is in my club. It is monthly. I still have a ton of it. I warm it all the time. I don't know how I'm ever going to get through all of it. But I do my best. Um, white Grapefruit. This one I warmed in my bedroom. This is from the spring and summer originally. It's spring and summer of 2018. Um, this bar is obviously not from them because it's not, as Patricia Gates would say, a flat bottom. It has got the imprints of the different scent families. I think I grabbed this one in a flash sale of some sort. Um, it says, turn the other chic, spelled with C-H-I-C, with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. Um, super, super good. It is... Um, I like it. I was warming it in my bedroom and my wife came through and she was like, what is that scent? I don't like it. So luckily for her, I can't get any more of it. And I think this is all I had. And so it is now gone and she doesn't ever have to deal with stinky white grapefruit ever again. 
Um, I will probably forget that she dislikes it. I will probably order more if it shows up in a flash sale. So um, there's that. <laughs> Don't know what else I can do about that. But I'm sure that when I um, haul it, you guys can remind me that I wasn't going to get any more. And oopsie daisy, I did. Um, hometown Cowboy. I wore this in my entrance. I like to pick kind of masculine scents in my entrance. And I think that's because... My wife likes them and she sits up there. Um, that's where her office is. So it's like right by the front door. There's four warmers. I go through a whole bar. I put two cubes in each warmer. She's surrounded. So I try to choose scents for the entrance that I feel like she's going to like. So this one is dark suede and aged leather. Saunter down a dusty avenue lined with black mahogany. It is a little bit masculine. It is a little bit leathery. Um, it's a little bit woodsy. It's so good. I like Hometown Cowboy a lot. So she, I just try to, try to be nice. Um, the kids' rooms. So my kids really like kind of plainer bakery scents. And this is almond croissant. I love almond croissant. Um, so I'm not trying to be, I don't know. Yeah, so when Rowan was little, she didn't sleep. And, um, and so I tried a room spray in almond croissant in her room. And I used up the whole whole room spray like every night before she would go to bed I would spray her room with rooms with almond croissant specifically room spray and she always said that it made her room smell like bread which almond croissant is very bready and um it didn't help her sleep but I was hoping that if I always sprayed the same room spray and as part of our nighttime routine that it would help her go to sleep it did not um the scent note so I but I did warm this in their rooms I wonder if it brings back any memories for her Anyway, a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Mm, I, wish I, could, I wish I could get this back. I would put it in my quarterly club for sure. I am the worst about like kind of getting in this mode of like, I'm going to get rid of it all. And then I delete stuff out of my club and then I have regrets. This is a regret. I don't have it anymore. I have a few bars left. I think I got some in a flash sale, like not this past one in like one of the like festive friday or freaky friday bundles or whatever i may have picked up a few i don't know i don't remember i've got a few bars but not like a ton a ton um last but not least i warmed a bar of caramel praline cake in my family room this was also in the 2023 sense of the season sweet praline and a spa splash of buttery buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle do you say praline or praline I always say praline, but then now I'm like second guessing myself. Curious about what how you guys pronounce that word. <laughs> also, do you say caramel or caramel? Um, because to me that's caramel, caramel praline cake. How do you say those words? I guess you can't really tell me. Um, but just curious. I feel like there's so many different ways of pronouncing this bar's name, but. Yeah, so I've warmed through a lot of wax lately. Um, my house smells delightful all the time. What have you guys been warming? I would love to know if you guys have been doing any mixing. Um, do you guys like bakery scents? I'm really into bakery, especially in my kitchen, you may have noticed. And so I'm curious if others that watch my channel are also as into bakery as I am. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I've got for you for today. Hopefully we have some good news from the new catalog soon. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It's only a couple days away. Um, at least for me, the digital version is just a couple days away. I'm going to be ordering the transition kits and stuff on the first. I think it's Thursday. Is that Thursday? Yeah, today is Tuesday. Um, yeah, so I'll be ordering the trans transition kits soon. And um, yeah. So anyway, I hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday um, and pre preparing for a fun and exciting scentsy spring and summer 2024 season. I cannot wait. I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.